Welcome to Ask the Booth, what we hope is not our penultimate Ask the Booth as the Chargers playoff hopes still alive with a contest coming up in New York against the Jets. Uh, in this installment, Nick, we have some questions specifically about this game, specifically about personnel and injuries, yeah. and also about that big picture and how we might be able to continue our conversation into 2018. But let's get started with uh, a direct question surrounding the Chargers-Jets game. And remember, you can always ask us questions through any of our social media platforms, be it the old chat snap, the Facebook, the Twitter, the Instagram, we love them all. Uh, and this one comes Just from- Just no home. Pinterest. Right, no Pinterest, yeah, exactly. We didn't do Pinterest Or Etsy, there. nothing for yeah. sale here, even in the holiday season. Although Nick might bundle some of that nice hair of his together uh, uh, and put uh, a little, little wire around there. A little on chain and okay. a bottle. Uh, Isaiah asks, what is the Jets' biggest threat to the Bolts? I think the biggest Bolts threat is to themselves. I think it's turning over the football, as we saw with the Kansas City Chiefs. If you turn over the ball, you allow teams to stay in games. And with this Jets offense, the way they are with Bryce Petty, at quarterback, 43% conversion. They're not a real threatening football team on the offensive side of the ball. But if you turn the ball over and you allow them to stay in this game, they gain confidence and they gain time. And that, to me, is the ultimate threat. Yeah, I guess just from a fantasy perspective, having seen it last week against a pretty darn good Saints team, uh, they run the ball pretty well. And it wasn't Matt Forte, but it was Bilal Powell. Powell. It was more the thumper between the tackles. And you think about an injury to Corey Legit, Denzel Perriman is yes, down. Yes, that's a big one. They're going to have to solidify the middle of that defense because if Bilal gets running and he runs hard, now you bring play action into it. They have some good receivers, so that would be, I think, probably they got my Safari big concern. and Jenkins at tight exactly, end at who tight can end. catch, and so, yeah, you get that going. I would expect to see more base defense from the Chargers than we've seen that dime with Adrian Phillips in which the Chiefs attacked last week. So I would expect to see Powell and Forte for sure. NFL Army 84, there we go. Hunter Henry is now on IR. What happens to the offense? It's not as effective as it was, as we've seen when they target Hunter Henry, when he gets going, everything opens up. It's Keenan Allen, Hunter Henry, then Melvin Gordon. I expect to see more Melvin Gordon out of the backfield. And then you've got to have guys step up. Jeff Cumberland has to step up, Sean McGrath has to step up, and Antonio Gates will factor heavy into the game plan now that Hunter Henry's out. All right, this one comes from Moses Sal, 1904. Who are the Chargers rooting for this weekend to better their playoff hopes? The thing the Chargers are rooting for is no three-way ties in the AFC. So they're cheering for the Ravens, cheering for the Pats, and cheering for anybody to beat up on the Tennessee Titans. Right. So it, it really lays out well, but the most important thing the Chargers have to do, you said it right at the start of all this, they gotta, they can only beat themselves. Yes. Gotta start that. Win. So, uh, and then, you know what? Perfect. It ends with our uh, final question. What's the most important thing the Chargers need to do in the first half to ensure a fast start? They need to get some points on the board. They need to play good with special teams, but I would love to see Keenan Allen get going on the offensive side of the ball. Get him involved early in the contest. Often, it'll open up the run game, which allows them to shorten that contest down and eventually beat down the New York Jets. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, we've seen that. That was the recipe, uh, you know, from that four-game win streak. It was a whole lot of Keenan Allen early, and that would open up the run game. All right, that's going to do it for uh, this week's Ask the Booth. Remember, we'll be back again for week 17 against the Raiders. So lob those questions out through all of our social media platforms.